Hey folks! Before I begin today's insanity, I'd like to take a quick moment to give a shout out to a friend of mine. Patchwork Heart is a talented artist who is currently selling high quality commissions at reasonable prices on their Deviant Art page. So if you're looking to get an OC drawn, a cartoon of yourself, or maybe even a scene from one of these Let's Plays, give them a shout. You can find them on YouTube, DeviantArt, Twitter, and Tumblr. Trust me, they're worth it. And with that, I return you to your regularly scheduled madness. Alright ladies and gentlemen, time to launch this mission and time to see if we can't, well, as I've been saying, pull our asses out of the fire and turn things around because we kind of absolutely really need to. Like, desperately need to. Alright. Get eyes here. Alright. So, uh, taking a bit to load. Normally I want to be cautious, especially that because I've got only got two, two people, one of them which is a rookie, but we kind of... I think we're going to have to go for a mindset of avoid fighting and actually we could take advantage of that. Take advantage of the fact we've only got two people and therefore we can probably be a bit stealthy. Menace 1-5, yeah. we have a confirmed location for the VIP. Yes, Move we to don't need to engage. That's one of our, that's our first advantage. We do not need to engage. Okay, when last time we ran up, we tried to do a run up thing in words. It did not go well for us. So, Kiron, get to, to there, location. please. Okay. And now to here, if you wouldn't mind. Got a group of hostiles over here. Okay. We see them, we shouldn't engage. We shouldn't engage. And we'll move boys over Roger here. That. Let's not engage unless we absolutely need to. Oh great, and we hear a mech. A voice, uh, is there a route around to that way? I think there is. So, voice, you come over to here, please. Yep. Then, uh, yes, you can. No Obama jokes, please. So, voice, move up to I'm here. Okay, uh, Kieran. Over to here, please. Extremely well equipped mechanized combat unit. Oh. We'll need to look for vulnerabilities if we're going to take that thing out. Yep. Okay. Eyes on the you prize. two go into overwatch. We're gonna do, we're gonna wait for those two to pass. Then we're going to get onto, the, we're going to try to run behind them. Get onto the roof that way. Oh shit. Except we're gonna be spotted if we move. Uh, you two go into Overwatch. If they spot us, I'm hoping they're not going to spot us. If they do, we'll make a break for it. We'll fire on them, run to the roof. Okay, doesn't seem like they've spotted us. Be advised, hostile interceptors okay. are inbound on your current position. Firebrand has a limited window to provide extraction. Looks like it's time to, looks like it is time to go loud. So, here's what we're gonna do. Voice, you've got the grenade. Blow on. Voice, I'll put you up. Actually, first of all, uh, Kieran. No, no, no. Kieran, 
Put you on Overwatch. Voice, you've got the grenade. Blow him to hell. Alright. He's going to try to move, and that will mean that Kieran should be able to finish him off. Kieran, please don't miss with this. Oh, shoot. He plays. Barely registered. Which means both of our guys are blank shit. Oh no, no, no. I don't feel so good. Shit. Is it weird? Okay, if this is the mech can miss and shoot its companion, that would be great. No, you know, hoping to one hand, shouldn't to the other. Still bound. Horribly. Commander, there's no one left to deploy. We have to get some new recruits in here. Yep. Unfortunately, we don't have new recruits. Okay, let's we'll keep Avenger going. Avenger, drop. new course. Okay, and uh, back to course for the Arctic territories. You stop, Commander. Uh, wrap construction. And, uh, I did not think I could have okay, predicted got the resistance this outcome. radio. Though it is intriguing. Let's get the, the advent autopsy. offices appear to be similar, if not physically the same as the comp. From my own experience, advent generally deployed. Commander, we can now construct radio relays in any region where we've made contact with the local resistance. All right, got that. Now. 
Let's get this. I think that's going to be super useful to us. Also, let's um, open up that power this coil. This coil can provide us with some additional power for the Avenger systems, but we'll need to add some shielding first to protect the crew. Up into the bridge. This was easier than your last procedure, Doctor. Central, Commander. Yes, I find the process to be far less disconcerting when the subject has already expired. The results, however, it's best you see for yourself. My autopsy of the Advent Captain has confirmed the existence of an implant, similar in design to the unit I extracted from the Commander. But there are differences. What kind of differences? The data you see is being pulled directly from this Advent Captain's implant. The sequence here is essentially you, Commander. Or at least the tactical information they were processing through your mind. As you can see, the data is nearly identical. They were using you against us. Yes, however, the Advent data shows signs of decay. Removing the commander from their network has likely caused significant damage. Network? Yes, what we're seeing here is a psionic network. These implants are capable of receiving and transmitting information, a great deal of information, somehow encoded in a stream of psionic energy. My working theory? Advent uses this network to augment the tactical readiness of its troops as well as disseminate orders from its central command. Observe. Even in the subject's diminished condition, the implant continues to have an effect. A truly astonishing achievement. Or a weakness. Potentially. But I need direct access to their network to know for sure. I'm guessing that won't be easy. We'd need an active link. And that would mean hacking a live Advent officer. Like I said, not easy. Still, it's the best lead we've got. Your call, Commander. New objective added. All right, so... Looks like we've got our work cut out for us, Commander. Mm -hmm. The Advent Captain seems to provide a means of stabilizing the link between the local subordinates and the Advent Network Tower itself. I don't think Commander, we're going to survive, we're going to try to build this skulljack that Tygen came up with, as Nick Fury once said, until the day the world stops I'll spinning, let's act as if it continues to... Commander. Until the day the I'll world ends, so let's continue to act as if it'll spin on. Okay, let's hope we have enough people to engage. Oh, moderate difficulty, not gonna be good, not gonna be fun. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Uh, do we have anyone else available? Uh, we've got nothing else. We can't exactly skip it. Uh, Okay, time for the suicide mission, people. So we've got a single soldier that requires you to take the slow and steady approach on a mission that's gonna need us to... Uh, so we've got a single soldier who is most effective taking the slow, steady and hang back approach on a mission where we need to rush by themselves on moderate difficulty. We're fucked. Dr. Tygen has picked up indications of an exposed access point along the Advent network near here. And we may be able to use it to recover data crucial to the alien's latest project. As always, there's a catch. The terminal is on board one of their transport trains passing through the area. We'll 
need to move in quickly. Secure the train and eliminate any hostiles. If we can do that, we might just get a shot at stopping their progress. Ladies and gentlemen, I will see you next time.